Welcome to another edition of Our Ventura. Today we have a wonderful guest. His name is Tom Hannon, and uh, he's the proprietor of Albatross Recording Studios, but we're also here to talk about his wonderful venture into a nonprofit uh, community organization for our community. So uh, with that, let me introduce you to Tom Hannon, Phoenix Theater Group. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your venture. Um, well, the Phoenix Theater Group um, uh, uh, was formed to. Uh, well, I should back up a little bit. There was a, there was another organization that, would, that was started within a particular um, program um, because of some constraints that that we we couldn't raise enough money. We started a nonprofit group. Basically, the long and short of it is that way we can we can raise more money, we can reach more people, and we want to. Um, our, our goal is to to you know spread the word about recovery. Um, also, a big part of it is to get um, recovering, you know, alcoholics and drug addicts involved in theater. And, you know, it gives them something to do. And I've seen over and over again where, you know, people get involved in this thing. Three months goes by like that and they come back and they go, when's the next show? I need something to do. And uh, it, it's, it's, it's a way for them, them to be of service. Well, when uh, we I read your, money, so. I read your mission statement and I thought, you know, this is a very creative and positive way to have the people recover from whatever their addiction is. And um, some people, not everybody can do artwork, not everyone can sing. And yeah. I think you kind of hit the nail on the head with the theater community yeah. group. Well, we, we get people involved who've never done this before. That's kind of the idea, especially, you know, young people. We're thinking about doing a young people's play just for, you know, newcomers into, um, you know, recovery. And just bring them in, get them involved. And, and, and you'd be surprised what people that you know they don't think they can do it that they can do i'm i play bill w in the play we're doing and i never thought i could do that i've actually m managed to memorize an entire script who knew wow. i mean so there's you know there's a lot of things people can do that they don't they don't know my the person who started that other group uh he would just he wouldn't even ask he would just grab people and go you're you're going to play this guy you're going to be an usher which i what i did when you're um so it, it's kind of like that when you're just trying trying to get people in and and because there's so many people in recovery while we're rehearsing and doing things like that it's a community thing and, and we talk a lot about you know recovery and, and ourselves and um it's a, just a great way to get together and uh, and do something they can really be proud of well tell yeah. us a little bit about the history when did you start this venture um we started it about a year ago um we we, we had an idea well actually it was a couple of years ago we we just like i say we started with a group called the half measures group that was run by a man called uh, named Jay Thayer, um, who's been around and he did shows for 30 years and he would draw people in and he's my inspiration. Um, unfortunately, he's not with us anymore, but he kind of passed the torch a little bit. Aww. And so I, um, but I had, I, we had to get apart from, from that group in order to, uh, so we decided to start a nonprofit. Um, that way, you know, we can we can um, solicit anybody for money. We, there's there's kind of a rule in the program that you cannot get money from outside sources. Every everything has to be, you know, inside donations. That's the uh, anonymous part the, the of anonymous, it. Anonymous, yeah, yeah. Um, so we don't want to violate any of the traditions, and so we we started our own group, and and that way we can do what we want, um, and and reach more people, and that that's really the idea. And and my. Honestly, my whole reason for doing it was because of its impact on me, and and the are you recovering as well? Yes, I am. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, it's it's uh it's just something that you know we everybody was we haven't done a show in about a year and a half, and people are getting itchy. <laughs> so yeah, and so they're calling me going, I need something to do. I need something to do. So um, well, tell us how you came across your late your next venture. Well, uh, the show you mean? Yeah. Um, well, we're, we're doing a show called Bill W. and Dr. Bob, and it's, um, it's a story about the two founders of, of Alcoholics Anonymous. Anonymous. Um, they, um, it, it's briefly the story of how they met, um, how they managed to, um, to stay sober in, in their struggle to stay sober. Um, 
It's. Um, do, do you want me to give you a brief synopsis of the sure. story? I could. Um, it's basically Bill W. starts uh, in the starts in uh, the late twenties. Then of course the crash hits and Bill loses everything and he becomes a raging drunk. And I'm going to try and make this quick. So, <laughs> um, but what happens from there is he 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 has some somewhat of a spiritual experience is what he called it in in the hospital. Um, so he goes on for five months trying to get people to get sober, but it, the way he's doing it isn't working. He's trying to convert them with spirituality, and people don't really. And so he meets Dr. Bob, who's a, a, an atheist <laughs> at the time. <laughs> and, uh, and just by chance, he was just, he, Bill was out of town on a business deal, and, and uh, uh, he was pacing the hotel to think, I need to stay sober. Or I got to talk to another drunk. Maybe that'll work. Um, so uh, somebody hooked him up with, with Bob, Dr. Bob who's a, a raging drunk, and, uh, and they just got together and they discovered that just by sitting there and talking to each other about this thing, um, they were both able to stay sober. Um, and from there, uh, they, they, they had to uh, figure out whether this is really going to work. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's good for us too. We're, we're sober and it seems to be working, but what about somebody else? You know, can we, can we make this thing work? And so they had to test it on another person. <laughs> yeah. And so through trial and error, they, they ended up getting the third member, and from that point, they, they just went on, and the whole thing exploded. And it's, uh, it's a very inspiring story, very inspiring. Well, that's great. Yeah. I just think it's wonderful that you're bringing these opportunities to our community. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other question I have was, I noticed in some of the write-ups, there's all ages and all levels of professionalism involved. Um, Tell us yeah, about yeah. that. Well, there's, there's um, yeah, we have uh, one girl who's... Um, I hope I don't say this wrong. I think she's 19. <laughs> she's in the <laughs> show. Uh, but we have some, some, some other um, younger people who are helping with sets, and one of them happens to be an actor that I found out. So uh, we want to get him involved in the next show. I decided to do a young people's show, uh, maybe like The Breakfast Club or something oh, like that. Oh, that's great. I, it's just a thought. Uh, I shouldn't. And I don't know if we can actually do that. We have to get the rights. So <laughs> let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. But, uh, yeah, and there's, there's, there's just all ages and all backgrounds. And it's the funny thing about recovery is um, there's no particular kind of person who's recovering. That's true. You know, they, they cover, you know, millionaires to doctors to surgeons to, to skid row bums. I mean, there's, it, it covers everybody. It's not, it's, there's not that stigma anymore. Uh, you know, it's, it's all about recovery. And, and, and you know, it, these people, some lives people take pride in, in their recovery. Some of these people have lived on the streets all their lives. They get sober, their lives change. Right. Um, and, you know... Uh, we chose to do the Bill W. and Dr. Bob show as our first show. This is our very first inaugural show. Um, just because we want to get the community in there, that, that community in mm -hmm. there to see, you know, hey, look, this is what we're doing. That'll um, set the stage for your future productions. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so we'll get all kinds of people. And it's not a story about AA. It's not a story that tries to convert you. It's just a story about these two guys who struggled with sobriety and found a way to stay sober. And it's simple as that. Um, now, another part of your outreach, is it to reach uh, the community so that they know that they are also free to come and get involved in your projects? Uh, we'd love people to come and get involved. We, um, you know, as we develop, you know, what shows we're going to do next, we have a certain amount of parts available and we have casting calls and we'll have people come in and anybody can come, can, you know, can come in and, and you know, um, be in the play. I mean, we don't, you know, we don't discriminate. Um, so we have, we have, like I said, from, from 19 years all the way up to, I don't know who the oldest person is, probably in their 60s something, but uh, um, so we're all different ages. And I have to play a 39-year-old, so I have to color my hair a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but we're just having a ball. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, that's great. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. I mean, you know, we want to, it, it's all about, you know, brotherhood and fellowship and, mm -hmm. And it's just uh, just an amazing thing, and you you build bonds with these people. For, you know, when you rehearse with for two or three months, you you get very close with people. You stay in touch. Well, I think it's a first for uh, the area. Yeah, I, I think it's the first time this venture has ever been done. And it's a nonprofit, uh, and it also helps the community. Yeah, yeah. I, I who knew? I mean, you know, I mean, it's just something I wanted to do, and and uh, you know, my wife and I talked about it, and we decided we we're going to do it. We knew we had a, a you know a pretty hard road ahead of us because first of all you have to become incorporated which by the way we found an, an attorney to do this pro bono 
Uh, can I mention his name? Is that okay? That's fine. Uh, his name's Ron Harrington, and the only thing he asked in return was that we send people to him for wills and trusts. Aww. And so I said I would do that for him. <laughs> we're trying, but uh, so, yeah, and so we're getting a lot of people, you know, pro bono work on us, including you, Annie, you've been helping us a lot, and I really oh. appreciate your help. There's, you know, um, there's... It's there's a great so much, cause. It is a great cause, and I have a, um, we got this great piano player who's just, I, I can't tell you how blessed we've, we've been. Well, let's backtrack show. a little. Um, your studio, Albatross Studios, yeah. it's been a recording studio. You're, you've been in the community for a, well, quite a while. Well, the, the, the studio's been open for three years. Um, it's, it's been kind of a struggle, because mostly because, um, you know, in a recession, even without a recession, musicians are notoriously poor people. <laughs> they just are. I'm a musician, I know. Artists, uh, musicians, yeah, actors. Yeah, we do it because we love it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. This is, that's the only reason we do it. Um, so, so in a recession, it's, it's, it's even a little bit worse. But, you know, I'm get, I get people in there to rehearse. They look at the studio. They go, can we make a little demo? And so I'm getting a lot of people. I've, I've made quite a few demos for people. And I get a lot of rap, um, hip-hop people in there, which I love those guys because they come in with their beats. And I, and I hit play, and they record, and they, they pay me and leave. And that's it. It's, <laughs> it couldn't be, be any easier. And I just love those guys. So there's I, all kinds of music and it doesn't matter if you want to whistle dixie for an hour I, i'd be glad to you know, <laughs> come in and have you do it so it's uh no i i just love the recording business I, i'm still struggling but uh you know i hope to keep it open my lease is coming up so we'll see well it sounds like you're passionate about a lot of things that um uh, help people yeah well um I, i've just had a lot of experience you know in 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 you know in the organization that I that I'm a member of for my recovery, and and I've and I and I I take I look at people and I try and live by example, because um, you know a lot of us go in there we're not we don't know how to live we we've been you know alcohol drugs have, have consumed our lives, um, and these people set examples for us, um, you know especially Jay Thayer who's the the Jay you know the, who the, the you know who ran the, the half measures group, and and people like him and 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 that are inspirational. And right. I look at these guys and go, well, well I, I can, I think I can, I can do that. <laughs> Let's try that. You know, and uh, gosh, this is my first, uh, this is my directorial debut. Uh, I got to tell you though, I wasn't planning on playing Bill. We had a Bill, but uh, it, he, he dropped out for whatever reason and we, it was too late to find somebody else and everybody kind of looked at me with one of those, well, uh, I guess it's going to have to be you. And so, yeah, I kind of had a little meltdown for about a week, but then, uh, I learned the script, and now it's going. It's going great. I'm having so much fun. Oh, that's great! Are, yeah. That's great. You can yeah. tell. Yeah. And do you rehearse uh, locally at your studio? Oh yeah, we, we rehearse at Albatross Studios. We we use my studio uh, four days a week to re to rehearse, and so we're. Um, but we're we're almost there. I think we're, you know everybody's everybody's off book, which means everybody knows the script by now, and mm -hmm. so we're tweaking the show and and. Uh, we're just really excited about it. And, um, well, what do you have coming up for the future? Uh, other productions? Um, we want. We have a lot of other productions. Some of them that uh, 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 a friend of mine who was in another show. Uh, he works at a high school. He's a teacher. And he's and he's written several plays. Um, and I, I was thinking I might w want to do one of those. Uh, there's. Uh, it's a long story about what they are, but he but he's a very good very good playwright, and I want to use a couple of his. I, I want to do. Uh, of course, keep in mind I don't have the rights yet, but I would love to do the Breakfast Club because um, it, it get, it'll get some young people involved. That'd I want inexperienced blast. young people and just run them through the process, and mm -hmm. just, by the time they're done, you know, they'll be hooked. I, <laughs> I a, think that's a great thing to do. Yeah. Um, before we uh, sign off, why don't you give the people your information, the websites? Okay. Well, uh, the. Uh, the, the website for the Phoenix Theater Group is just that, phoenixtheatergroup.com, and it's theater, T-E-R, not T-R-E, the phoenixtheatergroup.com, and then uh, uh, albatrossstudios.com, and that's albatross with one S, studios.com. <laughs> the other one was taken. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, and they can get information about upcoming shows that we're going to be doing. Um, you know, I, I try and stay on top of the website, and, you know, so... Well, thank you very much. Um, sure. Tom Hannon, yeah. Albatross Studios, Phoenix Theater Group. Yeah. Thank you so much for your contribution to our community. Sure. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And thanks for tuning in to our Ventura. Have a wonderful day.